guys, this is Dabsnish Bell. Let's take a look at how to use the Site Search and WYSIWYG Web Builder. So the Site Search tool and WYSIWYG Web Builder allows you to search for text or articles within a website. The tool works very well with keywords and description of a page. So to get started with the tool, all you have to do is to come to your toolbox and you can either search for site here, uh, that site search and then this tool is going to pop up here. So I'm going to click on it and then I'm going to draw on my canvas now let me just go ahead and expand this a little bit let me go ahead and move this to this position let me go ahead and expand this a little bit more move this some few pixels to the right hand side now i'm going to go ahead to bring in some test also so i'll come to my toolbox click on the test and then i'm going to expand this and then i'm going to populate this with about 10 paragraphs so let me just go ahead and move this to the left hand side let me move it here I'm going to right click on an empty space on my page, go to page properties and I'm going to set the alignment to center. I'll go ahead and hit on OK. Now I'm going to double click on my site search here and when I double click on it, I have a couple of options to work with. So when I come to the general tab, the first is that is a hint that says search this website. So that is the test which I have in the, my site search here. I can go ahead and change that if you want to. And then there's enable autocomplete. So when you enable autocomplete and I'm searching for something which is actually available or can be found in my site or my pages, it's then going to give me a hint of it so that I can either select each or any one that I want to. And when you come to results, we have results count. So if there was some uh, results, that is something was found in the website, that is going to show that is results found for search item, blah, blah. It's going to give you the details for it. And if there's no results, it's actually going to give you no results. So keywords, we have keywords and description, we have description. We also have a close button that is depending on how you want to show your results. So we take a look at that shortly. We have the font family as well as we have the color for the test here. So when we scroll to the very bottom, we have the way you want to show the results. So before we continue with this, let's go ahead and enable display description. So we want to display description in our site search after we get our results. Now when you come to the results, we have a drop down arrow. And when you take a look at the options, the first one says show results in a new browser window. So when you come to results in a new browser window and hit on settings, there are a couple of options to work with. First of all, you are supposed to set the width and the height of the browser window, which is going to pop up as well as the left and top. Now, in my case, I'm not going to work with this and this. I'm just going to set the width to about 600 pixels and the height is going to be about 500 pixels. When I go ahead and hit an OK, I'll go ahead and hit an OK. Now, mind you, we said Visible Web Data Site Search works very well with keywords and description. So, we have to get some kind of keywords and description in our project. So, to do that, we right click on an empty space, go to Page Properties, and then we come to Meta Tags. So, Meta Tags, I'm going to paste what I copied here. And the keywords I'm going to type Lorem, and this is going to be Epsom, and this can be Dollar, and then I think that's okay for now. I'll go ahead and hit on OK. So when I go ahead and hit on F5, I, I don't think this is going to work when I preview it. So let me just go ahead and publish this. I'm going to publish this to my local host, and then I'm going to run it in my browser. So let me just open my browser, then I'm going to type localhost and then site search. I'll go ahead and hit on enter and then I have that here. So I'm going to search for Lorem and as you can see, this is showing me the uh, suggested words that is so Lorem can be found in my page. I'll go ahead and select it and then I'm going to go ahead and hit on enter. So as you can see, we have our new browser window which is showing in the form of a pop-up and that is it. So we have our search results here, the title of the page and then the description. So it shows us the number of counts that was found and our, that is our page. Now when we come back to our project, let me just come back to our project. I'll go ahead and hit an OK. And we come back to our site search. The next we have here is a show results and an inline frame. So when I go to an inline frame, I'm supposed to select an inline frame on my page. So to do that, let me just move this a little bit to the bottom. Come to the toolbox. I'm going to look for inline frame. I'll click on it. Let me just draw here. So let me expand this. I'll go ahead and expand this and I expand this a little bit. So this is just um, a test, so you might probably not want to do this. Let me just go ahead and publish this also. I'm going to go ahead and publish this. And then I'm come to, I'll come back to my browser. Let me just close this, come back to my browser here. Let me refresh my page first. 
as you can see we have our inline frame here now when i go ahead and hit on enter you realize that our search limiters are uh, make sure I do that right so let me refresh this page also okay let me just come back I didn't get something right here so to make my search display my inline frame I have to double click on this and then I'm going to select the inline frame that I have here so I'm going to select this go ahead and hit on OK and then I'm going to publish it again so let me just hit on publish and then I'm going to come back to my browser let me refresh this page and then when I hit on enter as you can see we have our search results and our inline frame here now let me go ahead and minimize this and let's take a look at the next one so when i double click on this the next one that shows is jquery dialog so if i select jquery dialog i have some settings here so when i click on settings it gives me some kind of options that i can customize i'm not going to change anything here i'll just go ahead and hit an ok hit an ok let me publish this page again so i'm going to publish this page and then i'm going to preview this page in my browser so let me right click on this and then i'm going to make a search of this and as you can see this is our jquery dialog box here i can move it depending on the options that was already selected so i'm going to come back and take a look at the next one so when i come here let me just get rid of my inline frame here i'm going to move this back and when i double click on this and i come back here the next one says show results in another object so if i have another object that i want to show i can show results in there so in my case i'm going to be using a layer so i'll come to my toolbox and then i'm going to type layer i'll draw here let me just so I'll keep this here and then the name or the ID of this layer is index layer 1 so when I come here I'm just going to select index layer 1 so let me just select that here I'll go ahead and hit an OK now let me publish this page I'll go ahead and publish this page and then I'm going to come to my browser let me close this and refresh my page now I'm going to make a search and then I'm going to hit an enter as you can see the search result is being shown in our layer that we brought in here now because of the kind of layer we brought that is why we are having actually this display here now let's just come back here and see what we can do so when i come here and overflow i'm going to change this to auto so when i go ahead and hit on ok and publish this again so let me publish this again and come back to my um, that is my browser i'm going to refresh this and then i'm going to make a search and as you can see because i chose auto there has been an, a scroll bar here which is helping us being able to scroll between our search results now let me just come back and take a look at the last option so i'll come back here double click on this and the last option says show results in another page so when i select results in another page i'm supposed to select a page which is going to do that so let me just cancel this hit on ok come back to my site manager and then i'm going to create a new page so this is the new page now let me come back here and then i'm going to double click on this come to settings and then i'm going to select the new page which i've got here so i'll go ahead and hit on an ok and hit on an ok now when i go ahead and publish this let me just publish a button open my browser i'm going to refresh this page when i hit on enter this is going to show in a different page as you can see this is the name of the page it says page one and then a search has been applied to it so that is how to use the site search tool and wizard report builder let me just come back and see if there's something else we need to talk about so let's just take a look at the pattern so the pattern is just the spacing around the test here you can increase and decrease it also you have styles if you want to configure the styles of your site search you can do that here as well as you can also add a box shadow to this site search tool here now you can go ahead and get rid of the search if you don't want to use it you can simply delete it and if you are making a search you can easily hit on enter and then your search is going to be done that is it for now thank you very much for watching bye for now